I was driving a car, and my phone was connected to the radio of the car, and I saw the phone call come in from my agent, so I picked it up, and she told me that the news, that, that they got this, uh, this, this role, they're asking me if I wanted to play this person, um, and I was so flabbergasted and moved and just rocked that I had to pull the car to the side of the road, park it, and like properly have a conversation. And then I sat in silence for maybe 20 minutes alone in the car after just being like, am I in a dream right now? Is this real? You, yeah, that, 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 was, that was my experience of it all. I similarly I had a phone call, I had a missed phone call when I was on the tube from my agents. And I was at Westminster Station I don't live in Westminster, but um, my curiosity got the better of me and I got off the tube and I called them and then they told me the news and I walked home from Westminster thinking, um, wow, what, uh, what, a, what a gift I've been given. I play a character called Gator. Uh, he's the emperor. And I play a character named Karakala, also who is an emperor, also an yeah. emperor. There's two at the same one. time. In fact, yeah. we both were, were co-emperors, twin emperors at the you could same say. time, in unison. Unison in uh, theory. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In, <laughs> they're practicing emperors and trying to uh, rule uh, the empire concurrently the empi at the same time. At the time of, uh, I don't think they know it no. when the film begins, but at the time. Uh, that it starts, Rome isn't so hot on these guys. You know, they're, they're, they're not, they're not. Not nailing being an emperor. No. At the no. Currently, yeah. it's not going well, um, but in their delusion, they think they're, uh, then they Rock are. Rock stars. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's truly one of a kind. There, there, there is no one like uh, Sir Ridley Scott. Um, the way that he makes a movie is is so uh, full on. It's it's so immersive. Um, it's it's just it won't. No no one has done it like that, and and I don't think anyone else can. It, it he operates usually eight to twelve cameras all at once, filming at the same time. He watches them all. He's orchestrating the scene like it's this event. So every single day, you feel like you are at. Um, you're part of this enormous event. There is no set like a Ridley Scott set. It's, uh, it's laced with this urgency and uh, the, a vitality and a sense of it feels important, because it is, but it feels uh, like you're capturing moments that, re that really matter. Um, and in that case, it is, um, it's unlike any other filmmaking experience I've experienced and uh, I doubt I will experience again. I think there was nothing but reverence and respect for it. Uh, what he did in that film, uh, especially as an actor so young, uh, kind of being able to uh, embody that role and that responsibility was uh, p pretty extraordinary. I think that we had our own task uh, to achieve, uh, our own kind of direction that we had to kind of take take this role, uh, these roles. They're very they they serve a different purpose than uh, comedists did in the first Gladiator. So whilst it was um, an amazing piece of work, we didn't want to kind of be too bogged down by uh, something that's happened, and that was something amazing that happened. We had to focus on the task at hand, really. Uh, some songs, some great songs. <laughs> we sing some great... <laughs> yeah, 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 really good really tap good. dancing number. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, it's epic in every sense of the word. Um, this is the kind of movie that is meant to be seen on the biggest screen possible, with the loudest sound, and the most people. It, it, Joe was talking about this earlier, how it's, it's, it's about, this is something that's meant to be felt in communion, and um, the act of going to a theater and seeing it with a community of people who are screaming and cheering and, 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 and experiencing 
the full sensorial um, insanity that is this movie. Uh, I, I, I just think it's it's an event.